hello and welcome to my youtube channel again this is the video of life processes from science lovers part 1 so you can love to learn science and in this video we will discuss about the definition of life processes and different different life processes on which our life is based and this is very important topic because uh, uh, by studying these topics we come to know about our life so let's begin this video with the definition of life processes. So what are the life processes? The basic functions performed by living organisms to maintain their life are called life processes because uh, if we talk about the human beings, in order to maintain our life, our body have to perform many different different functions like excretion, nutrition, digestion, so now we talk about these processes one by one. The main processes which have to study in plants and animals both are nutrition, respiration, transport and excretion. So now we discuss about them all one by one. So before going ahead we have to learn the characteristics of living things. That we have to know what are living things. So living things are those things which can move by themselves and those things which can not dependent upon anyone else for their movement and the second characteristic is that living things require food, air and water for their life and third one is that living things can grow and become mature they can reproduce in order to produce their copies they can respire by taking oxygen and they can remove undigested food from their body by the process called excretion. So before going ahead with the process of nutrition, first of all, we all know about the food. What is food? So food is a kind of fuel for living organism because in order to perform various life processes, our body required some fuel. For example, human beings eat plants and animals as their food in order to gain energy for all life processes. Now before discussing the process of nutrition, we have to discuss about the nutrients. So nutrients are the substance used by organisms as a source of energy because the food which we take, it contains a lot of nutrients and the process of intake and consumption of these nutrients is known as the nutrition. So nutrition, so we come to know that nutrition plays a very important role in our life because from the process of nutrition we got energy for performing various other functions and there are uh, other type of nutrition also. So now we will discuss one by one so mainly mo there are two modes of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic the organisms that perform process of nutrition autotrophically are known as autotrophs and the organisms which perform the process of nutrition heterotrophically are known as heterotrophs so now we will discuss about the definition of autotrophic and heterotrophic so the mode of nutrition in which an organism prepares its own food from simple inorganic substances like carbon dioxide and water is known as autotrophic and the autotrophs are independent for their food. But heterotropic is just opposite to the autotrophic because in this mode of nutrition organism doesn't prepare prepare their own food and in order to get food these are dependent upon other organisms now heterotrophic nutrition is further divided into three types saprotropic nutrition parasitic nutrition and and third one is holozoic nutrition so first we talk about the saprotrophic nutrition in this type of nutrition organisms 
obtains its food from decaying or dead organic matter like uh, we take an example of mushrooms because mushrooms often grow on the dead organic matters so mushroom is a saprophyte and now we talk about parasitic nutrition so in parasitic nutrition an organism derives its food from the body of other organism without harming it and for this we can take the example of flatworm which feeds upon the human blood and act as a parasite and last one is holozoic nutrition so in this type of nutrition an organism takes complex organic food material by ingestion ingestion is the process of taking food which can be found in the human beings so it was the all about nutrition and uh, the process of respiration and excretion etc we discuss in part 2 For more videos please subscribe my channel and bye bye for this time